I will also, I don't want to sound dystopian or burst your bubble here, but uh, the cutting edge models are already smarter than about 90% of the population. So we are already there for most of us. And so what happens when people can no longer tell that it's wrong because they just don't know? <laughs> interesting, that, right? That is an interesting question. And again, it's a, uh, I mean, you could argue the same things happening with search engines, you know, um, that's, that's our current source of data and information. You know, um, we're not smarter than Google and all the Google search engines. So, you know, you kind of have to trust, but verify against other sources and other information. And that's what I think will be essential in this world of AI being smarter than us is having multiple AIs that, you know, if Grok says one thing, let's go over to Claude and check it, then Gemini, then uh, ChatGPT. And if all four of them say the same thing in unison, well, we got to hope that all four of those companies aren't in cahoots. I don't think they are. Um, but, you know, cross-checking information is going to be essential in that world. And then on the tech front, as it keeps moving forward and it kind of ties into all that, what are your thoughts on things like Neuralink, for example? You know, Elon Musk's stated goal with that is to get to the point where anyone could go get one as effectively an outpatient surgery yep. and give you a direct link to a computer. Because the biggest problem, you know, according to Musk, we have with is our interface with humans or our computer. 